Hey there, folks. So most of you were able to figure out that yesterday's uh, announcement was fake. It was April Fool's Day. Um, yeah, I think all of you actually figured out that those uh, stats were faked. Um, but so here today I'm presenting you the real tier shifts. If you want the actual stats, you can go to the Smogon thread that's linked up below. But most of you, what you care about is what's changed tiers. Uh, so start, uh, to start off with, we have the OUUU split. I can tell you right now that nothing rows more than one tier. Um, it's conceivably possible that an NU Pokemon could go as high as OU, although an OU Pokemon can only drop down as, as low as UU. Um, but I'll tell you that nothing did anything drastic. No one shot up from uh, NU to OU, NU to UU, or um, RU to OU. But so anyway, let's start with OU and UU. Um, so based on February's usage, uh, what we were kind of expecting is that Scrafty would drop to UU and Deoxys D would rise to, uh, to OU. Uh, this was especially important uh, with Deoxys D because uh, the people who are in charge of deciding the borderline tier, basically what's banned from UU, uh, that's not an OU, uh, were basically like, Deoxys D needs to go, it really, really needs to go. So um, they were really looking forward to this. But when March actually came around, Scrafty just pulled it together with just the smallest possible fraction um, and managed to squeak by and stay in OU for one more cycle. And meanwhile, Deoxys D didn't quite pull off the usage it needed to go into OU. However, um, someone on the UU council basically told me that, okay, well, if that's the case, then Deoxys D really needs to go to borderline. So that's the first change. Deoxys D has gone borderline, uh, meaning it's no longer allowed to be used in the UU tier. So it's basically OU in all but actual usage. Uh, so now we go ahead and switch to UURU. Um, basically, here we were expecting a lot to happen. Um, Hitmonlee was expected to rise, as was Gliger, Claydol, Honchkrow, and Yanmega, which was currently which is currently in Borderline Two. Um, so all of those Pokemon were expected to rise. Um, and meanwhile, nothing was expected to drop. So what actually happened? Uh, we start with Gliger. Gliger moved up. Yay! Uh, Gliger is apparently a monster in the sand, thanks to Sandvale. They're actually making some decisions right now about Sandvale and whether it's allow you're allowed to use it in sand. Um, but anyway, uh, that's completely off topic. Uh, so Gliger moved up. Uh, Sharpedo moved up. So that wasn't expected. No one had been calling Sharpedo, but that's actually a really good thing uh, for the tier. I've been told I've never had a problem with Sharpedo with my RU team, but apparently the RU community is pretty happy that Sharpedo is gone. Um, what else? Claydol. This is a huge deal. Claydol is officially moving up to UU. The best spinner in RU is now gone. That is excellent for my RU team, uh, because it is kind of an annoying spinner and is really good at its job. Um, but hey, that's great for my team. So really, really great. Uh, what else? Uh, Honchkrow. Honchkrow is also up. Honchkrow is apparently a pretty big offensive threat. Again, I never had a problem with it with my RU team because um, I run such a bulky team and I've got that Steelix. Uh, and yeah, so never really feared uh, Honchkrow, but I understand a lot of people are actually really excited about Honchkrow rising to UU. I think it had been nominated for suspect banning in Borderline 2 more than once. Um, and finally, Yan Mega is also going up to UU. So that's actually really great. Yan Mega is kind of getting a little bit more respect. It doesn't actually change uh, Yan Mega's usage; just means that it's now officially UU instead of Borderline Two. Um, Hitmonlee didn't actually manage to pull off the rise to UU, so Hitmonlee will still be around in RU. Um, but these other Pokemon, Gligar, Sharpedo, Claydol, and Honchkrow, will no longer be legal to use in RU. So that's kind of exciting, I guess. Uh, I've actually been really lucky because none of these changes have affected any of my teams. Um, finally, we have the RU-NU divide. Uh, which Pokemon will rise up, which will go down? Uh, to start off with, we have the expectations from February. Um, Miltank was expected to rise. Uh, let's see. Lanoon was expected to rise. Magmortar was expected to rise. 
Rhydon was expected to fall, Ludicolo was expected to fall, Crustle was expected to fall, and Sazbuck was expected to fall. Uh, now let's go into what actually happened. Um, Mesprit, Mesprit rose up to RU. Uh, that's actually really interesting because Mesprit was the number one most used Pokemon in NU. Uh, so now you can no longer use Mesprit in NU. Uh, Ludicolo fell down. Uh, Sawsbuck, where's Sawsbuck? Sawsbuck fell down, and Charizard, no one was expecting Charizard, but Charizard is actually now NU, which is really kind of cool. Um, Charizard has a huge, uh, has a has a huge weakness to stealth rocks, and that's kind of why you don't see it very often. But I'm really hoping that it'll get some decent usage in NU now. Um, I'm actually considering switching out my Embor on my NU team for a Charizard because I just love Charizard, especially Shiny Charizard. Um, meanwhile, let's see. Yeah, uh, Rhydon stays uh, RU and um, Lanoon didn't quite climb up. Neither did Magmortar. Uh, neither did Miltank. That's a shame. I really would have been happy to see Miltank over into RU and banned from NU. Crustle also didn't fall. So anyway, that's the tier changes. They'll be all listed below in the description. And if you want the full details, you can go to the Smogon thread that's linked in the description. So uh, enjoy the new metagames, folks. And these are legit. I promise I would not fake you out on April 2nd. That would just be lame. So, so long, folks.